Okay, so this is an addition reaction. We are going to learn it much later in the course, a few chapters from now, actually. But um, I want you to help me out drawing the mechanism, okay? Um, so what type of molecule is this here? It's an acid. So what kind of reaction are we going to have first? Acid base. Acid base. So what's the base going to be? The alkene, okay, and where are the electrons from the base going to be coming from? The double bond, okay. So, notice, where does the hydrogen go? Where does this hydrogen, this proton go on this molecule here? Does it go to this carbon, or does it go to this carbon? To the left one. Why? Do you know that? Because it became a methyl group. So this is tetrahedral. Right, and this is what's the geometry around this thing? <coughs> Pardon? <coughs> trigonal planar. planar, right? Trigonal planar. Carbocations have trigonal planar uh, <coughs> arrangement around the molecular geometry. So, how are we going to draw this mechanism? So, oftentimes you'll see in these organic chemistry books where they just take the pi bond and move the electron. I don't want you to do it that way. I want you to actually show me which carbon it's being attached to because it will make your lives much easier when you're trying to do these on your own because you won't have these products eventually. You'll have to figure out what the products are. Okay? So, in this particular one, the hydrogen is going here. So, what I want you to show is that arrow going through that particular carbon there as opposed to going to the other carbon. Okay? Because that hydrogen could have gone on either one of those carbons. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So we want to kind of show exclusively which carbon it's going to. Is that the only arrow of this mechanism? No, we have to do one other thing, right? What? The sigma So what did we form? One sigma bond, and we broke another sigma bond. So we definitely performed a what? Chemical reaction. Chemical reaction, right? And what about this step? What's the second step of the reaction? Oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that. How many steps does this reaction have? Two, two. two steps, okay? So, if I were to think about my reaction diagram, how many peaks would I have on my reaction diagram? Two. two. And how many valleys in between those peaks? One. One. That valley, what is at the bottom of that valley? Intermediate. The intermediate. And in this case, the intermediate is a what? Carbocations. Carbo so carbocations. Oops. Carbocations are often you'll see as intermediates in chemical reactions. Okay. What are the things at the top of the um, peaks called? Transition states. Transition states. So are they shown in any of these pictures here? The transition states? No. -uh. Remember, it's kind of those half bonds. You can almost think of the transition state as being what you're drawing as the mechanism. Okay? It's more like drawing half or dashed bonds to everything, though, as opposed to showing the electron flow. Okay? So let's go ahead and finish the second step. What would the uh, arrows look like? Chlorine to the chlorine. Yep, so the lone pair electrons from the chlorine to the positive, like that. So Let's remember in uh, organic chemistry, we like to identify nucleophile, electrophile. So let's go over here and identify a nucleophile, electrophile. Which one is which? The carbocation, the electrophile. Electrophile. Why would you say that? Because they receive electrons. It, receive, it likes electrons, right? So this is electrophile. electrophile. And this is the? Okay. This thing here has a functional group in it. You see the chlorine? We call these alkyl halides. Okay. This is a way to make alkyl halides. So you can take an alkene, react it with HCl, and you can make an alkyl chloride. 
So this is one of your first reactions that you can understand making something from something else. Okay. So what organic chemistry is all about is making stuff from something else. So we don't draw another arrow? Mm, nope, this is only the one arrow on this one. Okay, so if we were to draw another arrow, we would be breaking a right. sigma bond, and we don't want to do that. Because right. look, what's happened here? We've got two reactants, and they made one thing. So they must be, it must be a combination reaction. Okay. okay, so there can only be the one bond. So if you have two, <coughs> you only have two products, there will be two arrows. Well, because there's only one product there. Not necessarily. It will, uh, you just got to go through, we'll go through a bunch of reactions and maybe you can find some kind of, I don't know, ideas as to generalize. Okay? 